Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to demo how to use DxO's Pure Raw 2 as a plugin in Lightroom Classic. The reason why I'm doing this video is because it's not entirely obvious how to use DxO's Pure Raw 2 as a Lightroom plugin. Because typically, if you want to use a plugin in Lightroom, you would access that plugin from Lightroom's Edit In menu. One way to get to the Edit In menu is to right click right on the image, then go down to Edit In, and then over to the plugin. And you'll notice that DxO's Pure Raw 2 is not listed here. That's because we have to access it in a bit different of a way. Now we're going to be working on this image. I'll zoom in. You can see there's a considerable amount of both color and luminance noise. It was shot with an ISO of 12,800. So I'm ready to get rid of the noise and I want to use DxO's Pure Raw 2. To do it, what you need to do is go up to the File menu, then down to Plugin Extras, and then over, and you'll see right here, Process with DxO Pure Raw 2. When I click on that, typically when you're using a plugin in Lightroom, you get Lightroom's Edit In dialog box. Well, when you use Pure Raw 2, you'll get DxO's dialog box. And you could see that we could, from here, choose our options. What raw processing method do you want to use? I recommend use Deep Prime. It is the best of the three. Do you want to do any DxO optical corrections? Sure, why not? You don't have to. You could turn those off. I'll put format, JPEG or DNG. Personally, I like to stay with the raw format as much as possible in my workflow. So I'm going to stay with the DNG output format. Now finally, where do you want to save it? Do you want to save it to a DxO, DxO folder that is in the original folder? Now if you do that, Lightroom won't know it's there. So it's not going to automatically go back into Lightroom. So you'll have to import it. You may want to instead save it to a custom folder somewhere and then you could then later import it into Lightroom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to a custom folder but that custom folder is something I call auto imports because I have my Lightroom set up so it constantly monitors that folder and will automatically import any images that are dropped into that folder. So if I drop an image into that folder right now Lightroom in the background without even asking me is just going to auto import that image into Lightroom. So that's what I'm going to do with a DxO's image when it's done processing it. I'm going to have it go into that auto imports folder. Now, by the way, I do have a Lightroom video, at least one demonstrating how to set up auto imports in Lightroom. I haven't done a new one in a while, so maybe I'll do a new video in the very new near future demonstrating how to use auto importing with Lightroom. But that's what I'm going to do. So very simple. You really only have a few choices here and that's it. Now I'm going to click process. And when you do that, you'll see you'll get this dialog box that's saying it's about eight seconds left. Now because I have my Lightroom set up so that it's going to auto import them to this auto imported photo a folder here, auto imported photos folder, which it just did. I'll click OK here. Get rid of that. There it is right there. Now I had the original image into a targeted collection and I'm going to add this folder to that targeted collection by hitting the B key on my keyboard. And you guessed it. I have a video on that and how to do that as well. So we'll go back to that targeted collection. And here is the original image. This is the original file and I'll just, uh, Go here, you can see this is the original Nikon RAW file, and I'll zoom in. And you can see this is the original image with all that noise. Now here's the DxO Pure RAW 2 file. Got rid of the noise the, using Deep Prime. So you can see that's the Deep Prime one. So there's the original, and there's the Deep Prime file. The original, and Deep Prime. So you can see it does a great job. And that's how you use uh, or DxO's Pure Raw 2 as a plugin in Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.